This is Mick Cotton's barbecue. Look at all those lemons. In my backyard, hundreds of them. I just picked two bags full. I got to get out with the sawzall and cut this tree down. Trim it up. It's just too big. Last time it was trimmed was probably three years ago. So, Skagit sent me a bird video. Sent all you guys a bird video. He's feeding the birds. And we feed the birds too. I'm going to show you guys. We got trees all over. We got peacocks. We got parrots. We got crows. This is a new birdhouse we got. And, um... I'll take you guys out to where there's a bird in our kitchen. Look at that. I got I just picked these two bags of lemons. A neighbor's gonna come by and pick them up for free. But here's what we have. We have, look at the bougainvillea, oh, it's huge. This is like the bat cave for the driveway. We have orange trees. Look at these oranges. Look, we have three of those. So one, two. There, yeah, the light's a little better. Orange trees. And the third tree there. When I got my bush, I got to trim that too. But here are the birds. Look at all the bird feet on the ground. Look at this. Is our little bird feeder in our in the tree. And this thing, we fill it up almost every day. And uh, well, we filled it up yesterday, so they've eaten eaten that that much. They're little birds. I bet the crows will come by here too. And then I just hung this up. Look at this bird feeder. Little bird birdhouse. Look how cute that is. <laughs> Look at that. I should start making more of these with my scrap wood and stuff. They're real easy to make. I got a chop saw and a little drill some glue look at that cute little birdhouse with all the lemons you know the squirrels come by and eat the, the bird feed too oh there's a bird he's saying get out of the way there's probably like 20 of them when I go back in the house they'll all come back oh there's a squirrel on the Telephone line up in the tree. Look, look, we got the birds. Hi, birdie. <laughs> we have some cardinals, but the um, look at there. Look at this. That's a. That's from the birds. That's a. They're trying to make a nest. I wonder if they're making the nest. This is all my firewood. I gotta chop it up. This is oak. Good oak for the smoker. All right, Mick Cotton's barbecue is Friday morning. Um. Yeah, the parrots, the big green parrots, they like. The tangerine tree and they like um, oranges and they'll sit there and eat the whole orange and um, make a mess but um and the peacocks they come by and I think this is what the, the this is what the uh, parrots do to the oranges look they eat out the middle look they eat 
the oranges and the uh, tangerine trees. But I got a lot of, a lot of oranges. And I got to trim the bougainvilleas going in the street. And look at that big oak tree, my neighbors. That oak tree must be 200 years old or 300 at least. It's huge. All right, a short video. Bougainvillea. Look at that, beautiful. The oranges, bird feeder, Mick Cotton's barbecue Friday. Skagit, your package is gonna be delivered tomorrow at your house. My little present to you and Mrs. Skagit, I think for Mother's Day, um, but it's for both of you. So you guys enjoy that. And um, it's in Wilmer, Texas right now, which is south of Dallas. And then FedEx or the mail will drive it up to Lubbock, Texas. Or somewhere around there in Tornado Alley. And then they'll just throw the package in the wind. And the, it'll probably land on your porch tomorrow sometime. All right? Peace. Love and aloha. Bon appetit. Three Cinco de Mayo or Cinco de Mayo May 5th